What's going on guys? Crypto Chris back with another cryptocurrency update video. And yes guys, it has been a very, very long time since I've done a YouTube video. But I promise uh, from now on, at least uh, once a week, so four times a month, I'll be uploading um, cryptocurrency educational uh, videos, analysis. Um, I'll be covering other markets as well, but the main focus, like always, will be on cryptocurrency. The one thing I can promise you here is that you get um, actual value and I'll actually try and teach you something in the process instead of just uh, shilling you uh, my referral code like every other uh, YouTube, crypto YouTube uh, person does. Anyway, back to the video. But if you did want to support me in any way, guys, just go and give me a follow on my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. So before I jump over to BTC, we just want to see what's happening currently with the US stock market. As you know, um, as of recent, we've seen a lot of correlation between Bitcoin and the US stock market. On this chart, I have the S&P 500 uh, futures. And just one thing that I've noticed that potentially can be showing us where we're heading for further downside is we can see on the monthly chart again, we like to zoom out on these time frames. We can see we've had one, two, three. Obviously, March has not yet closed, so it's hard to, to confirm the third, but we can see we are seeing some quite significant selling pressure since hitting the all time high uh, back at the beginning of January. Obviously, the world is a very, very different place uh, currently, and it's obviously having a an impact on the the market. So last time we had three bearish candles in a row was back in January, February. Then we had that last big uh, crash in March. We all know what this was, and then we we saw a move up to the all time high. So potentially this is something we could be having on at the moment also going to be covering other markets that could be showing some type of correction is inbound but all i'm going to simply do is get a fibonacci retracement from the march low to the all-time high and we can see even in a healthy uptrend usually we like to see the 382 fibonacci touched and as you can see, since the March low to the all-time high, we've not even come back down to this level to test uh, this this uptrend. And potentially, if this fails to hold, we can even see to the 0 0.5 or even to the 0 0.618. Obviously, there's a lot of factors in when you're dealing with the S&P 500 and, and the stock market. We have a lot of fundamental things that affect the price rather than we see Bitcoin move a lot with the technicals and it moves in correlation with the S&P. So just a a thing to keep up for if we do see further downside. It's not all doom and gloom. I mean, if we do see this kind of move happen, even to the 382, I mean, people are going to say bear market, bear market. Then you get a bounce to the upside. Again, even though retracements is 618, we can easily reverse from that point. But best believe this will cause a lot of, lot of pain in, in the stock market. And I believe it could follow through to the crypto market. And the next chart I want to bring up is the dollar index. Again, this is showing the strength of the dollar against other major currencies. I've showed this, I mean, countless times in the past, how the index the us dollar has had an inverse correlation with bitcoin i mean if we have a from again from january 2017 we saw this dollar have a bear market and this in turn was the crypto bull market and again we go back to 2018 this is when the crypto bull market ended. The dollar went on a bull market. And again, look at that. March 2020, we all know what happened in March 2020. That was the uh, absolute low for Bitcoin in 2020. Everyone was panicking. That was the high for the dollar. And then again, we saw a move down all the way back down to December 2020. And the May 2021, again, this correlated with Bitcoin here in all time highs. And as the dollar is now rising. What is happening to Bitcoin? Bitcoin 
is dumping again the the correlation uh, or the inverse correlation uh, more like from the dollar to the Bitcoin again I've been saying this for many many years and it's still very very evident that it is still currently happening so again again I'm keeping this very 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 simple the charts all that I can see now is just a huge huge multi-year range again so we've had the high here come to the low back to the high back to the low and it looks like we're having another rotation back to the high so again if we see this move back to the 2020 high again in my opinion if history doesn't history doesn't have to repeat itself but if history is showing us anything that potentially this could mean further downside for btc until we reach this level i mean this will be a hard resistance to break but if we start breaking uh above this again potentially we, we can be looking to 108 as this was a high that we had not seen since pretty much 2002 so I'm gonna just mark out this high here so again like I said it doesn't have to happen but potentially if we take out this uh, resistance here then we can see dollar go even higher again flipping over to oil I mean you guys all know the ones that <laughs> drive a car would know that the price of oil and the price of of gas is is extremely extremely uh, high at the moment what's happened to price obviously with the situation going around the world this is um, aided into pushing the price of oil up and again on this we had multi multi year resistance again I'm gonna flip over to the monthly and I'm gonna cover again what this all means for Bitcoin again again we've taken out this high and it looks like potentially we can be testing this monthly level here a hundred and forty dollars if we uh, I believe once we get to this point we could potentially get some kind of reversal come test this and maybe go higher or we can just reverse from here and go all the way back down again again there's a lot of factors uh, on the price of oil but again in 2008 when we saw price uh, climb high and high again this also was um, the pinnacle of this was the the market crash we saw in 2008 and that's when we saw last time oil hit this price now moving over to bitcoin so again i have the bitstamp chart and all i'm going to do is i'm going to do something very 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 simple what i'm going to do is do the weekly moving average the 200 weekly to uh, 200 weekly moving average again for you that that might uh, know me i'm not a, a big big fan of moving averages but when we start to see these moving average on the higher time frames other the, the weekly sometimes the daily we see how they've been respected time and time again again taking it all the way back to 2015 we can see how this was uh, tested as support we went into a bull market again we moved away from uh, the 200 day moving average and where did price eventually revert to in 2018 to the 200 weekly moving average again this is initiated the next run we moved away from the 200 weekly where did we come back down to in March 200 weekly i mean this 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 close here pretty much below sent a lot of panic through the market but to me this wasn't a very convincing close in the week of the week after we closed above and then we all know what happened this was the absolute best time every time bitcoin has touched the the 200 weekly moving average this has been the absolute best time to buy and where is the 200 weekly currently sitting this is one thing that I did want to see, in, in my opinion. I wanted to see it go above the uh, all-time high of uh, 20K. So again, this is giving us confidence that potentially even if price 
did decide to come all the way back down here, we could potentially start retesting the 200 day moving average again. What would this mean? Would this send panic through the market if we lost this level? I mean, a lot of people currently uh, are looking at this level here. Again, everybody's got this th this level. I mean, we can say we are moving inside of inside of a, a huge, huge, huge range. Again, potentially, yes, we can see. Again, very similar to what I've showed you with the dollar. We come to the high, to the low, to the high, come back down to the low. Are we going to get another rotation to the high? I mean, at the moment, with all these, uh, the way Bitcoin is moving, if we can see it more on the daily. I'll just quickly clean this up. So at the moment, it's it's evident that Bitcoin is in a clear downtrend. How is how can we just it? since hitting the all time high? Again, what is priced down to done done since then? Lower high, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and we haven't taken out that last uh, lower high yet. And in my opinion, that is the crucial level that I'm looking for price to do as this will be a sign that potentially we've seen a change in market structure. Again, we can see this as this was support, 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 flip, resistance, come back down, resistance. If we reclaim this level, this is what I'm looking for. If we reclaim this level of support, then potentially we can be looking for higher and this will be a encouraging sign for Bitcoin price. But at the moment, to me, while we're still stuck in this range, we can easily come back down here if we lose this level of support again a lot of people are gonna have a lot of levels marked out but what I'm gonna be uh, marking out is the 200 uh, weekly moving average where it's gonna be located if it falls in line with any weekly daily or monthly levels if it falls in line with any Fibonacci levels again it's all about um, having more things adding up to giving you confidence at a certain level you don't just want to I won't be blindly using this and buying here and that will be it again at the time if we do lose this level of support so again this this is crucial in my opinion all this level that we have uh down here i mean there's a lot of volume that built up a lot of support that built up in that area if we do lose again even back here if we do lose this level and we test it again we could potentially be looking for lower but again, I'll be using the 200 weekly moving average along with um, other tools of where I can be looking for areas of confidence or where potentially we could get in a bounce. So you can see when I'm doing the BTC analysis, it's good to have a bigger um, idea or a wider vision of what's currently going on in the world markets because history does like to repeat itself uh, trust me on that one and one final thing with ethereum so there's just one simple thing here i'm going to do with ethereum that will kind of uh, tell me the level what to look at so I'm going to get the Fibonacci channel. I'm going to draw from this high to the high and drag it back down to this low here. Again, I like to keep it as simple. But I give this uh, more weight to this uh, trend channel as it's on the weekly time frame and we can see how much it has been respected. Again, so we had the two high here. 
again we bounced off the 618 come back up to here we came back down here to the one to one again come back tested it again got another bounce of the uptight so to me it's very very simple with uh, ethereum if we lose if we lose uh, this level here so we can also look at this as upslope and support so if we do lose this level retest it then i believe we're going to see lower if we come back here and reclaim it i believe we're probably going to see new all-time highs so i'm keeping it very uh, as simple as that i mean there's going to be other factors uh, to look at like we need to see where the fibonacci areas are the areas of volume etc etc but just keeping it very very simple for for this video looking at the higher time frames and this is what i have in mind of what could be happening uh, with ethereum again for price to fall lower we're gonna have to see bitcoin fall lower possibly see the dollar gain more strength have the inverse correlation bitcoin dumps ethereum likes to dump just as hard or if not harder and then if we do get that and we fall below again i'll be looking for lower but again this is where you want to be looking at potentially getting into when nobody wants to enter the market and everybody's running scared that's usually the best time to enter the market when all any uh, sense of of bullish is 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 over everyone gets uh, bearish that's usually the time to get in anyway i'm going to keep this video i don't want to keep it too long as it's a youtube video but i just wanted to give you my overview of what i'm currently looking at with bitcoin and the other markets i believe will have an impact on the btc and cryptocurrency market again uh we have massive fundamental things happening in the world so it's important to pay attention to that as this this will have an impact on what's happening with the markets and once again if you watch this video up to now thank you very much don't forget to follow me on uh telegram the link is in the description it's very 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 much appreciated if you give me a follow on on the telegram once again hope you enjoyed this video crypto chris over and out